Hey everybody, welcome to this video guide for Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered on the Xbox Series X. Today we are completing sequence 4, memory 2, and getting 100% synchronization on it. And to do so, you need to make sure that you do not touch the ground or the water, and you find an additional 3 feathers, meaning that you collect 4 total throughout the entire memory, that includes the required feather that is part of the story. Alright, anyways, if you are looking for a specific part of this video, definitely take advantage of the time codes in the play bar and in the description, so that way you can jump around to the relevant sections of the video and you don't waste your time. Anyways, with all that said, let's get started with this memory. And the Jatasa one, I didn't stop the Raroke. I want to any gun and told that the Jat got Tony when I didn't see Nakwa Tari. All right, so at this point, you are allowed to be on the ground because this is where you start. But once you do get on this tree here, you're going to be going through the tutorial for climbing on trees. You want to make sure you are not touching the ground or the water at all from this point on. So be very careful not to fall off. Zahagayanere <laughs> Segoinotumnes. <laughs> How you get any dogs, get dog and any granny, toy a yed in a way, ne dosa ya yed in a rada, ne ne unzage. What do you want that sucks on a giga? All right, so now that we have gone through that opening cutscene for the memory, we are now at the point where we cannot touch the ground at all. We have the optional objective on the screen, so if you do touch the ground or the water, you will fail. So just follow along with the path that I am taking here. And at a certain point, you are going to cross a river. And once you are crossing that river, your friend is going to end up getting stuck in the river and you have to make it back to him. But you don't need to worry about losing out on 100% synchronization at all. So just continue on all the way to the end of this body of water. You're going to go up to this tree. And once you arrive at the top, you'll need to turn back around and save your friend. So go do just that. And once you do, a quick cutscene will play. And then we'll continue on making sure we do not touch the ground at all. All right, now we are going to continue on with the path that we were going down previously, and we still cannot touch the ground or the water, so you want to make sure you do not fall. You want to stay in the trees here, so just follow the path that I take, and once you do get to a certain point in the path, you will have a cutscene. Oh, no, all right so after that cutscene we are going to be continuing on you want to make sure you still do not touch the ground so that way you are keeping that optional objective safe you're you just want to make sure you don't touch the ground and it is up to you if you want to go this route, I'd recommend you do. Just go ahead and collect two feathers right off the bat. If you do it now, you won't have to do it later and it's just out of the way. But it's definitely up to you because you may have a risk of falling and everything. So you may want to just continue up this cliffside and continue with the objective. But personally, I went and I grabbed two feathers really quickly since I could see them on the minimap. So if you saw the path that I took, I just jumped down to the trees here. And then once I made it to that second feather, I made my way back around and I just took the same path that I, you know, took to get there. So it is just continuing on 
taking the branches all the way back to the cliffside. And you may think that you're not able to get onto the cliff, but if you see here, you actually are. It's kind of funky, the movement of the character, but you're able to make it, so don't worry if you want to take that path. And remember, that is completely optional. You can get those feathers later. They'll still be there later, but I wanted to get it out of the way, and that also prevented me from backtracking, having to climb all the way over there and get onto that side of the trees. It's definitely up to you, but that's just the path I'd recommend if you want to be as quick as possible in terms of just getting through it. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, once you make it to this final feather here, this is for the objective and you will have completed the optional objective for not touching the ground or water if you didn't do that. And remember, this is not our third feather. This is part of the story. So we still have one more feather to collect. All right, after that cutscene is finished, you are just going to be following your ally. So just continue on straight forward. On your way, you will see the feather pop up on the minimap. So go ahead and climb up the tree that it is on and collect it. And then we are going to continue on and finish up this memory. That is three out of three feathers collected for 100% synchronization. And that is also three out of three feathers in this area for the feathers collectible. So that is two birds with one stone with that. Pretty convenient, huh? Anyways, that is all that is required for 100% synchronization in this memory. All you need to do is return to your ally and you have completed it. So I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I was able to help you out. Please stick around and subscribe to this channel for more content like this one. I post extremely regularly and you're bound to find something that you do appreciate on this channel. Anyways, take care and have a great day.